So here we are, Oculus Connect 5. Here are some really cool people. You might recognize this guy, Creator of you. Also, we got our friends from Panda over here. Okay, cool buddy Lord here. And we're all very excited to check out some VR stuff today. What, what are you most excited for? Not working. <laughs> Not working. <laughs> So where are you guys from? Netherlands. Whoa. Uh, so I'm from the UK. Far off in San Francisco. The Bay Area, yo. A whole hour drive. Representing. Where you come from today for Oculus Connect 5? I'm coming from oh, Los Angeles. Angeles. Oh yeah, LA baby. You what, know. what park? South LA. Oh, oh yeah. Nice park. You know what I mean? Right where the Rams is going to play soon. So you came here from Germany? Yeah, I actually uh, been in a music residency in New York and then drove across the country. My good friend Ken Bai of Voices in VR. Hello. And I want to ask you, what's been like your favorite part about this Oculus Connect 5 experience so far? Well, I've been to every single Oculus Connect so far, all five of them. I'm one of the 50 that have been to all five. Nice. Um, and my favorite part is just uh, roaming around talking to people because the developers are the people who are actually building this industry. And yeah. so I. It's an opportunity for me to get in touch to see what the emerging trends are in the VR industry. What do you think the emerging trends are in the VR industry? Well, I think that you know people are looking at gaming, but they're also looking at um, AI, AI characters, interactivity. They're looking at um, health and healing and medicine, and uh, looking at like location-based entertainment and storytelling. So I feel like that there's so many uh, applications of VR. Um, you know, there was, but there was just also like the Beat Saber tournament that's just yeah. happening. So that's just like a, a big hot topic. So, um, I, ask me again at the end of the conference because I feel like it's still emerging. I am so excited. It's been a year developing this project. I also want to announce that we got funding to port to Go. Woo! So all you Go users, get ready for Neuro Explorer 2.0. Yeah. Um, and it's just like Mind always blowing. a beautiful emotional time to see all my friends and how far they've come. In this Check it out. And now I think that we all need to focus on solving two important problems next. So the first is that we need to build an ecosystem that's self sustained. Uh, and we're back. All right, wonderful. The first problem we need to solve is getting the microphone to work. Assuming we can do that. Yeah. And, but there's still like, uh, as I, each conversation I have uh, is one more puzzle piece as to what uh, so is happening in the larger ecosystem. There's actually you know, one of the challenges in terms of like the funding for 360 video. It seems to be like there's not been a lot of funding from the higher ups. And so there seems to be almost like a ripping out of the larger companies that are doing 360 video or having to pivot in some other ways of uh, uh, doing other types of things, yeah. location-based entertainment. And so I think that like the, the user-generated content for video on YouTube it's still going to be a big thing, but yeah. there isn't a lot of funding for just pure video content, no, which I feel like is going to uh, move it more into the user-generated uh, tourism and other like, totally. niches of yeah. 360 video. Um, I think of it like early version of a TV. Imagine if everyone put the money toward the Atari and not creating TV channels. Right. Would people be so hyped on the TV if it's just gaming? Yeah, well, I think there is going to be a niche for that content, and maybe we'll see someone like Netflix or Hulu, and they'll start to really fund that type of content that's going to work really yeah. well. But I feel like uh, the, where VR is now, if you can solve the problem of being able to play Beat Saber on a mobile headset, like that type of experience, and that's what we're starting to see is like the moving from uh, location-based entertainment, uh, stuff but moving into larger arena scale, um, and being able to do a bunch of stuff at the high end of gaming, but yet on something that is fidelity of something that's a little bit slightly better than uh, the Oculus Go, but not as good as Oculus Rift, that sweet spot of the, of the yeah. Quest. All right, so we just got out of the keynotes, and guess who I run into here? It's Navy. It's yeah. me. So what did you think was the coolest thing you saw from the keynote in terms of VR gaming? It's definitely the Star Wars experience. Oh, yeah. That's great. So you're going to buy it hands down? 
for oh, that, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the main reason why. I think the Oculus Quest is going to be huge for a number of reasons. I hope they can get Beat Saber on it. Oh, yeah. You yeah. notice how that was very hush. That's a good it was one like, it, I mean, it's good to have Star Wars. Everyone's going to buy it for Star Wars. They need to have a couple titles. We need, we need to have like a good workout title. Yeah. Or like you, Beat Saber. What, what else are you going to test out today? Are you going to try the tennis? Or? Yeah, of course. Yeah, like definitely all the Oculus Quest stuff. And uh, maybe a little bit of uh, well, hanging out with people, of course. All right, I'm going to link to him in the description below. Definitely check out his YouTube channel. So we're here at the Void. It's going to be a Star Wars experience. Suda's never tried this before. It's amazing. This is like the best VR experience you can have because your hands are literally the hands of stormtroopers. There's a little hint at Darth Vader in there. Are you excited? Yes. So what makes the Void experience so cool is it's like you wear a full vest and then the headset is like one of the best headsets on the market. What do you think? It was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a ton of fun. Best VR ever? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Sweet. Most immersive for sure. Sweet. Awesome, yeah. Everyone like it? Good awesome. to see you again, Good to see you, yes. How does it feel the headset? So here I am with two really cool YouTubers. We got. Uh, sorry. I was confused. <laughs> so, so, so what, what are you guys uh, most uh, impressed with so far? At Oculus Connect Five. I'll say. Uh, yeah. yeah. So far, like, announcement of the quest. I mean, come on. Yeah. I'm very impressed by the price. Too. Oh, the price is. <laughs> what did you think about tennis? I just got done with it. I love it. It's, a, it's so fun. And also, like, you don't even have, like, sensors or anything. It's so weird. You just have, you just have the yeah. room skill, like, straight away. Totally. I, I, I kept, like, looking, like, where are they getting the sensors? Is it a barcode thing on the ground? And they're, that, it's just the two headsets. Um, I wonder, like, you know, are we going to start to see people in real life take this to a tennis court and get practice? That would be amazing. That's a, that's a big court, though. They have a lot of space over there. It's I know. You could, it would be yeah, like an actual, because in my apartment I can't have a whole tennis court, no. but I can go to an actual tennis court and get practice with somebody. That's a good workout as well. It seems. Lobo can hold both of their players in the same spot we saw beginners hold on to in the last stretch. The second floor of the mansion right beside the uplink for the other two. They're starting to back up a little bit here. They're going to try and see if they can maybe pick someone up. We had comedy on the stage. I went to, playing onwards, I went to throw a grenade. Grew it, the controller comes out of me and <laughs> bounces off the stage and right onto the next platform next to me. So the tech guy comes over, tries to get it, he's like, I can't get it. Went to find a broom or something to fix it out from underneath the stage. Come back looking all stupid and blank like that. Oh, I'm fine, but... <laughs> I had to fling my headset off, dive onto the floor, get the controller, get on the stage. <laughs> So no one else could help you on the technical side to get your controller back. So much of the stage. They, they should have had a pause in the game. Like, where's the ref blowing the whistle? Like, hold on, the shoe came off during basketball. You know, like, it's something that I, I don't know. I'm sorry to hear it. Did you guys end up winning? We won the whole thing. Oh, we're good. I'm here with Atola Visuals, aka Kitty. Gimbal. She got the gimbal, and we got matching Moza tripods. These things give power to our devices. You're the one that talked me into getting this, actually. It's the best thing in the world. So. Who's the most interesting person you interviewed, and what they tell you? Um, we interviewed this YouTuber named Creator Up on YouTube, and I was like, oh, you know him. Yeah, you yeah. see him walking around? Yeah, we're buddies. Yeah, he gave a lot of good feedback, a lot of interesting perspective on like cameras and like the creator space. But I scratched the lens, which no. sucks, so... Well, you just have to shoot everything from this angle. Yeah, I need a new one, but I'm still using it. Insta360, get her a new one. It's a 360 documentary that is interactive about this guy, Henry Evans, who uh, had a stroke and is quadriplegic, but he's a robotics engineer, and he uses robots to interact with the world, and you become his robot. And it's really cool, it's all eye gaze, activated navigation, so at one point you're like spelling out words using your eyes and it's kind of frustrating but that's I think the point, that's right? That's totally the point. Yeah, you're supposed to be in his shoes and see how he has limitations but also how technology sort of opens doors for him. Yeah. It's just awesome being able to see it here on the Oculus Go while waiting in line to try the Oculus Quest. 
because you can see we got other people here trying out goes everywhere so it's like a really cool idea they should have like every like a checkpoint every five minutes in a line yeah. exactly yeah